Okay, I finally did it. I brought someone on my roof. <laughs> you, Can you see anything? <laughs> you, you land this on my roof. <laughs> We're trying to see the meteor shower, the non-existent meteor shower. Apparently NASA hasn't turned it on yet. I don't know when they're gonna turn it on. They're supposed to turn it on at nine o'clock. They turned the stars on extra bright tonight. Yeah, stars are extra too. bright. The sky is extra bright. I, I just have some questions though because has anybody else noticed that the Little Dipper has shrunk? Did someone put it in the dryer? Because <laughs> it's like five sizes smaller than I remember it being. <clears throat> and I've been up here so many times I have never seen this like clustery like Milky Way looking thing that's going on up here. I don't know what all this is. Is that chemtrail? No, not that. I mean this up here. Oh, oh there's Oh, that was a meteor. No okay. way, that was way too close. What was that? A shooting star then? I don't know what it was, but it was really close. I think that might have been well, wait, where's Orion's Belt? Because it's Orion's supposed to Belt's be... right there. It said to the left of Orion's Belt. Well, what? <laughs> well, then that was not... What way is left? That was really that was close. over there. That was back there. Did we catch it on video? I oh. don't know. Possibly. It's possible. It's possible. The meteor should be over here then, right? What? Yeah, it, the stars definitely look brighter. Uh, Way brighter. I don't know if they look closer or not, but they feel closer. It yeah. just could be my perception. And considering the amount of lights that there are here, it seems very... It's really easy to see these the little stars like the you usually the can't. major ones yeah, yeah you usually can't see them is the thing you usually can't see the little stars in the city at all yeah like usually i only see this with like if i go camping What's creepy to me is how low it looks. That's mm -hmm. what is creeping me out. It's like everything got dropped down, way yeah. down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really weird. Oh, there is another there one. There is another one. That seemed really close too, actually. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're maybe it's supposed to be that close. I don't know. I don't have experience with uh, this channel meteor shower. No, but I've seen I've seen shooting stars and meteor showers before, and they're usually really high. Yeah. Like these seem so low, you could touch them. Yeah, this is weird. The stars seem so low, though. They so. do. I mean, even those stars over there. Yeah. It's so bright in the sky, how are we seeing those stars? I wonder... Hmm. And I sit up here all the time and they never look this low. I couldn't find any good information on what what flat earthers, flat earthers thought meteors are. I was poking around today and I found pretty much nothing. <laughs> yeah. I One found... guy said he thought it was pieces of the firmament falling. Chunks of the firmament falling out. Yeah, but out. it wouldn't be lit, would it? No. Like, and I don't think the firmament is an actual tangible physical thing. 
No, I don't either. I think it's a it's a radio barrier. It's a yeah. sound barrier. Yeah, frequency. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I've heard some people say that it's just like a light projection that NASA puts on. <laughs> That's the most. There was another one over there. That's the most realistic thing. I mean, a space rocks. What is space rocks? Okay, uh, no, it's not space rocks. No, obviously not space rocks because there are no freaking space rocks. There was one flat earther. He actually had a video, and at the end, he said it was space rocks. What? <laughs> From where? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, space rocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. So, yeah. I you mean, may want to rethink all that, buddy. Space rocks. The only thing is, is if, NAS- if NASA's putting on a show for us to say, you know, there's meteors that could hit the Earth at any minute. Right. It, it creates that perpetual fear. That, right. That a bigger meteor can hit. Right. And... So we need to always be giving it NASA, their narrative. yeah, giving NASA money to protect us. Right. I wouldn't be as suspicious if the stars didn't look so freaking abnormal tonight. You know, mm-hmm. they're so different than how they look every other night that I see them out here. You guys know I spent a lot of time on my roof. It is a normal. Yeah. I don't even know what this is right here. Is this a chemtrail? I don't know what that is. I'm thinking it's a chemtrail. Which is odd because why would you? Oh, there was another oh, one. Oh, there was another one. Why would you one. need a chemtrail? At night? Yeah. Yeah. Right where you're having a meteor shower? And it's like, it's 10 o'clock at night, so. Yeah, why are there chemtrails at 10 o'clock at night right where you're having a meteor shower? Is it normally this light out at 10 o'clock at night? No. No. No, it's not. Which kind of reminds me of when I was on the plane. Uh. The variations of Oh, there's light. another one. That was a good one. The variations of light? Oh, yeah, variations when you're, of light. the places you're flying over? Yeah, you can see that... You can see there's, there's variations in light, like, during different times of the day. Yeah. So, do you think that our light doesn't all come from the sun then? It's possible. Because, well, first of all, there's still light in the sky, even though there's no sun in the sky right now. Yeah. And those stars don't have enough light to light up the sky. Where's the moon? I don't see a moon. Uh, The moon's, I don't see it anywhere. No, I don't see it anymore. So something is lighting up the sky because it's not pitch black. Yeah, they try to say it's the stars, but... mm. No, I've seen it where the sky is pitch black. Yeah, and it's still light. Yeah, and you can't say that city lights light up the the sky. Yeah. It it can't reach that far. Mm Mm-hmm. It's just atmospheric noise prevents us from seeing the stars because of the light that the interference of the light here. Yeah. But there was about a year and a half there that 
couple years, my sleep schedule was so fucked up. I could only sleep a few hours at a time, but I would wake up usually before 4 a.m. every mm -hmm. day. I was usually up by 3 most days, and so I was up before the sun mm -hmm. every single day. And it got light before the sun came up. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, well before the sun came up. Yep. Oh yeah, I work, I drive to work before the sun comes up. And yeah, it's you know, you go in early. Yeah. Forty-five minutes, maybe mm -hmm. an hour before the sun rises. Yeah. And I'm looking for the sun. I'm like, where is the sun? It's not up yet, but it's almost full day full daylight. Yeah. And we were talking about this before too, about how the sun does give heat and light. Right. But it doesn't give all the heat or all the light. Right. Because when the sun goes away, there's still light and there's still heat. Yeah. Like in the summer, when the sun goes down, it's still warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the warmth doesn't all go away or else it would be like, you know... It'd be like freezing. Yeah, like the deserts, how cold they get at night, you know? Yeah. It would be extreme, extreme like that. Right. And then uh, in the winter... Mm -hmm. It would be just as hot in in the day as it would at night because the sun is supposed to be giving us the heat. Mm -hmm. But that can't be. And I know it moves further away and it comes back and it's closer in the summer than it is in the winter and all this sort of stuff, but it isn't that different. Yeah, the distances we're talking about, I mean, come on, you know? I mean, it's not like we're talking about... Because the sun is not as far away as, you know... It's not 93 million miles Come on, away. let's fucking be real here. What? Let's be real. If you're looking at it from, you know, it's on a Taurus field... Right. ...vortex, and it's rising in the winter, so it's further away but it's also further south, you've got double distance, but it's, how can it be also higher and further south, but if it's giving summer to the southern Hems Flat? <laughs> Hems Flat. <laughs> if, 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 if the sun is in the southern Hems Flat, it's, it's summer, it's hotter. Yeah. But it's colder where we are in the northern hemisphere. Then you've got like, and, and it it's perceived as higher in the in the sky in the winter. Right. That doesn't make any sense. Is it only perceived as higher because it's farther south? I'm trying to figure this shit out as. <laughs> near impossibility that chemtrail by the way has moved from over there to over there it has wow that moved quite a distance didn't it it did wow there's no wind well there might be up there it's a fast moving fucking trail god damn yeah. it's fucking cold as shit out here that's for sure yeah I put my long johns on. <laughs> I have two layers on and a wool sweater, and I'm freezing. I know. Gosh. Here I thought I was overreacting. Me, mm -mm. The Canadian. I'm like, it's freezing cold. No, no, it's freezing. It's freezing. I wouldn't call this a meteor shower. I'd call it a sprinkle <laughs> at best. At best. <laughs> A, a drizzle. A little tinkle. Right. Tinkle, tinkle, a light little misting. Star. NASA <laughs> lies about where we are. <laughs> I like that. Yep. Yep. That's a good title. <laughs> <laughs> You put on a bad show, NASA. Your show sucks. Yeah, where's some fireworks? Show us some fireworks. Oh, there was one. Right on cue. Was it close? Yeah, it was right there. 
but did it feel like super close? It was green, was yeah, it was away? super cute. It was green? super close, yeah, it was green. It was super close. I don't know if the camera will catch any, probably not. Probably not. How can it be green? Interesting. Oh, I can see a little bit of stars. Can you? A little bit. When I went camping, I could see a little bit through my phone because they were so bright. It's hard to tell. There's a big square in the middle for the focus. <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> They were saying that you should be looking at Orion's belt. Right. But so far they've been everywhere else. Yeah. They've been all over the place. Yeah. But maybe it's more about timing? Yeah, they've been more over here. Yeah. I've seen more over here than anywhere else. Well, it's near Orion's belt, so maybe they're right. But there was, I thought, two over here. Yeah, I saw two over there. there. Chances are slim, I'd say. Pretty slim. Mm -hmm. I wonder what those big metal balls are, if they're the same things as the meteors, or if those are The falling stars or something, yeah. Yeah, those are crazy. They <coughs> look like light bulbs. Yeah. They always seem to fall in, like, South America and, like, Asia. <laughs> they never yeah. seem to fall here. In the middle you know, of the that? jungle. Yeah. Like, in the middle of some guy's hut in the jungle, yeah. you know? They never fall here, like, in Ohio or anything, yeah. you know? <laughs> How convenient. Like a bus stop and like, you know. In the middle of a shopping mall. Yeah. Thank goodness for that. Uh, true. But it's suspicious. Yeah, it's suspicious for sure. I think this was called the Geminid meteor shower because the meteors were from. Oh, I saw one. I missed it. It honestly, it looked like it was about thirty feet above our heads. Wow. It did not look like it, <laughs> and it looked like it came from here to here. It did not. It was too close. This shit is not far away, I'm telling you. There's no way. Johnny, get me a ladder. <laughs> Climb to the stars. <laughs> get me a ladder, I'm climbing to the stars. I'm calling bullshit. to be Mars right there? I think that's Mars, right? Great. That one right there, right? The one right there that's not twinkling. 
Luke is the ones that don't twinkle our planets, right? <laughs> That's what NASA told That's me. That's what they tell us, but I don't really see a whole lot of twinkling. I don't see on. much twinkling right now. Did they turn off the twinkler? <laughs> turned off the twinkler. <laughs> NASA, you turned off your twinkler. It looks like, okay, that one looks red and that one looks red. The yeah. one on the, oh, there was another one. That one looked far away. The one, this star on the upper left of Orion uh -huh. looks red. Yes. And then directly uh, off north of that, there's another one. Yeah, that and one. That one looks red. Yeah. I think it's the one closer to Orion, though, isn't it? I don't remember. I used to know all this stuff, and I don't remember anymore. Oh, that's Polaris, right? That, I know. I, I think. <laughs> I'm sure of it, right? <laughs> oh, my hand is so cold. It's so cold. It is cold. It is so cold. For a meteor every five minutes, you can freeze to death. And you can get a tour at NASA if you give us your name and identity three weeks in advance. <laughs> <laughs> it's free though. <laughs> Just give us all your information. Scan your retinas and your fingerprints. Give us, give us your DNA. Spit in this little vial. Give us your, her, your eggs and your sperm. Whoa. <laughs> Feel that? The whole house oh, that vibrating? was me. Oh, that was Shaking. you? Yeah. <laughs> Me. You're shaking the house. Sorry. I thought we were having an earthquake. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, not that too. No. Not that too. This is the worst media shower ever. Yeah. Okay, I'm freezing. Are you ready to go in? Yeah. Are you done? I'm done. We're done. We're done.